Now, with all the talk that I've been doing on footballers' family situations over the last year, whoever's involved in this, stop it. I'd forgive you for thinking that I'm the latest incarnation of OK Magazine, but when I tell you that Mauro Icardi's family are taking the biscuit, Bitch. It's the type of thing I'd usually leave to FTW, but this situation is so complex and ridiculous that it would only be fair to make it an entire video. So what's kicked off then? First of all, a lot. For those that don't know, Mara Riccardi is currently married, although maybe not for much longer, to an Argentine model, TV presenter, amongst other things, uh, by the name of Wanda Nara. Now these two are a controversial couple in both Argentina and in Italy, because Wanda is known for leaving her former husband, uh, fellow footballer Maxi Lopez for Mara Riccardi. When facing off against each other in a Serie A match, I think a year later, Maxi refused to shake Mara Riccardi's hand at the start of the game, and the fixture was later dubbed the Wanda Derby by the Italian media. So there's a lot of tension, as there would be if someone that you were mates with and took on holiday stole your missus. That's actually, I wouldn't have that personally. But as of the last few days, Wanda took to her Instagram to suggest that Mara was once again tearing her family apart for a slut because apparently he'd gone off and cheated with someone. The last time he did that, it was to cheat with you because you were ruining the family so that means that you're calling yourself you are just a fool i'd love to see her try and rekindle things with maxi over the coming weeks i want to say i'm sorry for the things I've done. And to be honest, from Marrow's actions, it sounds like he's pretty guilty. He's not training at the moment. He's calling for Wanda back on every social media platform there is. But ultimately, he was caught messaging another Argentine model named China Suarez. Her name's China and she's from Argentina. Fam, you should have known there was something wrong from the start. They're not even geographically close together. This guy's got so desperate that he's threatening to leave PSG if she doesn't take him back. What do PSG have to do with this situation? This is your family life, big man. Why did I get picked up? <laughs> <laughs> this brother's starving. How are you going to involve an entire football club organization? They've got Mbappe, Neymar, Di Maria, and Messi up front. I don't think they particularly care. Oh, no. Anyway. What are they supposed to do? Insert a take-back clause into his contract. Is he expecting Sergio Ramos to take time out of training to give them both marriage counseling? Watch me. I'm sorry to do this. I know you're probably a little bit busy at the moment, Mauro, please. But look, she's just not taking me back. You know, we've got five children together. I want the best for them. You know, I want to move them to a secondary school that they have. Mauro, this is a Champions League semi-final. I just don't think the higher-ups at PSG simply care enough about this man's marriage proposals. They don't care about what's being said on Instagram. He's not even getting in the starting eleven. But you're hardly going to see Maurizio Pochettino giving evidence in the civil courts here. I'll tell you who does care though. The rest of those PSG players, they know what Mauro Riccardi's like when he's single. They're all finished. Mauro was a teammate of Maxi Lopez when he stole his woman off him. Nobody's safe. Angel Di Maria, Leo. It's going to be panic stations as soon as they see Tinder's been reinstalled on his phone. Neymar's sister's about to get a new DM and for once it's not from me or her brother for that matter. But it did seem to be some sort of respite in this story just a couple of days ago when Mauro himself posted an Insta story of him himself like basically on like uh, using her as a pillow that sounds crazy not like that only for her to then post the next day simply a picture of her hand and the caption said that her fingers look better without a ring on them like a wedding ring AKA Mauro Riccardi's wedding ring. This is a power statement, you know, because Mauro made everybody think that they were all happy again. The kids booted up their Insta whilst they were at school and thought that their parents were back together again, only for her to post this with LV boots in the background. She's flexing at the same time. I'm leaving you and you don't have to pay child support. That's crazy. That's outrageous. So she's still holding out. He's still in the doghouse as far as she's concerned. But the maddest thing about this whole situation for me, and pretty much much the reason why I'm making the vid. Because I think everything else is just, well, you know, there's just a couple in football having an argument and a fallout. I don't need to make a whole video about that. Until you realize 
She's his agent. <laughs> this guy is not getting another goal bonus in his entire career. How and why did anybody think this was a good idea? This woman, who Mauro Riccardi is now simply begging for forgiveness, is also his manager. He's in the mud. I don't think it can ever be a good idea, right, to involve your partner so distinctly into your work. If you work together with your other half, then that's one thing, you know? I still think that's a bit crazy because, you know, obviously you'd seen each other in a work environment. It can be stressful. Sometimes it can have adverse effects. Relationship advice with Niran. But I think there's another thing to have your other half as your agent slash footballing manager, given the situation you found yourselves together in. Like, this isn't just, oh yeah, we met on Tinder or we would like childhood sweethearts. You stole this woman from another footballer. You've cheated before and she's definitely cheated before. This is not gonna work out. And at that point, it starts to make a bit more sense as to why he's threatening to leave PSG. It's not because he wants power over the French side. It's because he wants power over her. She's his agent. So if he terminates his contract there, then she's gonna lose out on a lot of money. Though he's gonna lose out on a lot of money as well. The, honestly, Good luck to them. They both seem very set on ruining everybody involved's lives. And if anything, I respect that quite a lot. I've just had enough. I've simply had enough. Like, South Americans from PSG need to just fix themselves up. I, I actually think he's a bit modded because obviously he can say, oh yeah, I'm gonna leave PSG, I'll terminate my own contract. And of course that'll have financial ramifications for her as well as him too. But like, I, I mean, she's still his agent. She's about to provide him the most stressful move and deal at Arsenal that he's ever encountered as payback. He can't stay loyal to an Argentine TV presenter and model. How is he gonna stay loyal to Mikel Arteta? For me though, if he can get out of this horrible situation, which he has completely caused, might I add. Well, it's cheap. Then Newcastle, just just go there, bro. It's like you can go into hiding. Nobody's gonna chase you to Newcastle. And regardless, he'll fit into the local area perfectly. Be full time occupation, smashing birds. So once again, I'm not entirely sure how the transfer negotiations are gonna go. Just this one time, I'm asking for you to listen to me, all right? How hard is that? You've not done that since we got together. Maybe if you hadn't cheated on me with this dickhead that's called China, but not from China, then I'd listen to you a bit more often. Furthermore, you never pick the kids it's up from school. It's always what it's you always me that has to get in the four by four. <coughs> so we can give Maro a four-year deal. So where does Maro Riccardi go from here? Out of everybody's DMs, just stop messaging people. It's just all a bit of a madness. But one winner from all of this, Probably Maxi Lopez. And with Newcastle's new Saudi Arabian funding, they'd definitely be able to afford buying Mauro Riccardi in January or in the summer to get him out of this situation. To be honest, I think he worked pretty well there and obviously he would improve their striking options dramatically. Callum Wilson's obviously sick, but Joe Linton scored less on the pitch than Riccardi has off the pitch in the last 10 years. So but we'll see how it develops. Let me know what you think of this disastrous situation down in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video though, feel free to slap a like on it and of course subscribe if you're new to the channel. You can also follow me on social media. It is at the official FNG on Twitter and on Insta. But it's been a pleasure ranting at you guys today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy yourselves and goodbye. <laughs>